<laughs> it is the holiday season, which is also the season of giving. <laughs> yeah, that giving back, giving back. So we thought we'd start off the week by giving back to our amazing fans. Tough. And today, guess yes. what? We've decided what? to put a festive spin on things. That's Ooh. right. Yeah. Well, because instead of the Reels Dollar Holla back, it is the Reels Dollar Holiday. <laughs> Actually, shout out a real <laughs> fan's name and Instagram handle. And if you hear me, if you hear me say your name, then you have until the end of the show to message us back at the real daytime. Now, if you do, guess what, guys? What? what? We are going to stuff your stocking ooh, with just a little something, you know? What? One thousand dollars! That's yes. a lot of money, honey. Okay, so here it goes. <laughs> here we go. Lonnie's got it. Shake it out. Fan it. All right, so today we want to hear from, are you ready? Okay. Alexandra Negron. Yes, okay. whose handle is at sandwich dot underscore. Same. Alexandra, yes. <laughs> just like genies, yes. <laughs> now, if you're watching, get in your sleigh and hurry on over yes. to the IG page. This is yours. At The Real Daytime. We want to give you Easy your Christmas money. cash. Yeah. Oh, sorry, I was just excited to make sure she Christmas sees that money. see that. Come on, you get it. to believe it, right? Yes. I love it. Well, who is ready for some girl chat? Okay. Let's get live. Yes, kid lad with it. Yes, girl. Okay, you guys. First up, I'm sure you've all heard by now that comedian Kevin Hart has decided to step down from hosting the Oscars following controversial tweets of his being dug up from several years ago. Yeah. The tweets in question contain derogatory slurs and language against the LGBTQ community. While someone who's coming to Kevin's defense is fellow comedian Nick Cannon. Nick did some digging of his own, posting old tweets from comedians Chelsea Handler, Amy Schumer, and Sarah Silverman, which contained similar language as Kevin's tweets. Nick saying, well, he tweeted saying, interesting, I wonder if there was any backlash here. So, Lonnie, I have to ask you, as a comedian, mm. you've worked with a lot of these women what do you think of all of this? Well, first of all, as a comic, I think all of us in the past have, u have used some type of de derogatory, yeah. offensive terms to everybody. Mm -hmm. um, my issue is, is two things with this. Number one, um, the bigger issue to me is the way it, the black community has mm -hmm. treated the LGBTQ community in the past. Mm -hmm. When I grew up as a girl, they were shunned. Um, they were made fun of. Mm -hmm. And so um, what you see are, when you see tweets like that were done eight years ago by mm -hmm. Kevin, it's because it was made to make LGBTQ people feel ashamed or ignored. Mm -hmm. And we've always laughed at it. And mm -hmm. I've been guilty of it. All of us, not only just in the black community, but other communities have been guilty of it. Mm -hmm. Okay. The, the problem that I had is that, you know, I talked to Kevin, and, you know, and he said, you know, I'm good. And I thought he was still going to go on with it. Yeah. But I think he let his ego get involved in this. Uh. And instead of taking a step back and saying, you know what, let's make this a teachable moment. Yeah. Whereas we include our LGBTQ yeah. uh, friends and, and learn from this, he just decided to step down. He could have took a step up. Oh, so okay. that's the one that's the one issue that I have. Okay. Now, concerning Nick Cannon and the issue that I have with that is that he, why did he pick only white women? Mm -hmm. There have been white males, there have been black males mm -hmm. that have said things. Louis C.K. has said something. Yes. These are my friends. Mm -hmm. Okay? I full disclosure, those women are my friends. I don't hang around people that are bad people. Yeah. Okay, I try that's, not to. That's true. These three women, no matter what, they've used the terms, but they've also been allies in the LGBTQ yeah. community. You've seen that. Right. Yeah. Meaning that there's a difference between jokes and there's a difference between, you know, straight up shaming hatred. and hatred. Right. Yeah. And so and there's a fine up. line and we still have to have those type of I, we we still need to have a conversation in this country about that to help our LGBTQ friends understand that yes. they are they are welcome, they are loved. And this Respected. could have been a great opportunity. I it's agree really with that. that. It's, it's a, a, sad a real teachable yeah. moment. Yeah. Yeah. I, I so I'm so proud of what you said because there hasn't been 
uh, an act uh, or comedy skit that I haven't seen poke at the fun of lifestyle, race, or right. somebody's, you know, sexual preference, whatever it may be. So it's, it's guilty for all across the board. I think also what would made me listen a little bit more, because I think what he was getting at is, is this a, um, is this a racist thing that we need to probe into? Right. And what I think he should have done is to actually look at all of the past hosts of the Oscars. Yeah. And, and see not if just there's random, random people. people. And see mm -hmm. if there are any receipts where somebody had posted or had said anything off-colored and still hosted the Oscars. Mm -hmm. Because then we have something a little bit more valid to say that it was unjust for, mm -hmm. you know, Kevin to be forced yeah. to step down. At the same time, I absolutely agree with you. When he said, I'm not going to apologize, because I do think that we shouldn't drag somebody if they've already made right by apologizing in the past and right. also have a change of heart to match their actions. Right. But I applaud you, brother, for apologizing anyway, because the LGBTQ community always deserves the apology for so much of yes. so much time that has been done yeah. wrong to them. Right. And that felt like an apology with yeah. no strings attached. And not right. just an apology, but I think people that know him personally, his walk of life is an apology in itself. Right. Right. I think the fact that he's changed the way he thinks and his surroundings and even who he's friends with, like he shows that he doesn't actually have those thoughts exactly. any longer. Yeah. So exactly. I think that he makes a difference too. Your actions years. have to show it too. Exactly. It can't just be what you say. Exactly. I have a question because I didn't know, and maybe this is something that needs to be put out there. He has apologized before yes. about this. Yes, he has. Uh, ha, 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 ha. And See, I think he just let his ego get into it because they gave him an ultimatum, maybe? Yeah, he was, but you no, know they what? Did. Did nobody they have to know that? Ah. See, sometimes your team need to talk to you. Yeah. Okay? okay. You pay too many people, Kevin. Listen to them sometimes. Yes. I don't know if they told you that or whatever. Okay. Did nobody yes. have to know about the ultimatum? He told us that. You know, uh, and then once that happened, he was like, I ain't gonna apologize. Then, you know, an hour later, because I called, I said, do you, you want us to yeah. do something? apologizing anyway. This is yeah. the type of friend I am. I, I reach out to you. I said, what do you, what do you want us to, to do, say. Kevin? And he was like, I'm good. He said, don't worry, I'm good, I love you, and I appreciate you. So I thought, well, maybe they working it out. Yeah. And then, you know, an hour later, it's like, he hosted it. I'm like, what the hell? Well, I know, because I think, <laughs> I think what happened was, because not many people knew that he had apologized be before, right. so then when he came out and said, I'm not apologizing, when he ended up apologizing anyway, it came off that, well, it could come off that it, it was, was ingenuine, yeah. you know what I mean? Because his ego yeah. got in the way, but now that I know mm -hmm. that he actually apologized way before, then hmm, but sometimes you just gotta, just get it out there. But when you're also, sorry, just, he just, earned, yeah. but if you're really sorry, sorry, I just yeah. want people just to understand yeah. that he earned the right to be the host, okay? You don't go from zero dollars to $150 million if you, I mean, that's not just black people going to see his films. That was LGBTQ, mm -hmm. that was white, straight, Hispanic, everybody. Asian, everybody. Yeah. So, when he, he worked his way up, that's why I was so disappointed yeah. when he said he pulled back. No, don't pull back. Just step up. Yeah, that's and what work, Russell Simmons was it. saying as that's well. That's it. I want to read she, this because I really love what Russell Simmons said. He put out a post saying, uh, Kevin Hart should host Oscars. This is a moment for him and his fans. Either we use this moment to bring us together yeah. or separate us. Glad we have done this multiple times. Reach out to Kevin, begin a dialogue, and show him love. But again, yeah. it bridges this gap instead of a tearing us apart more often. And again, it is a teachable moment. And this is a moment where him and it's Glad so can teachable. actually imagine they partner together yeah. and next do level. something but also, next level. Yep. Yeah. Yep. And I just want to reiterate, I'm disturbed with 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 Nick Cannon, I understand what you're trying to do, make it a black-white issue, but, but why was it just white women That's in? That's what I'm saying. Yeah. When right. you, uh, you can go back and check everybody's tweets. Yeah. Yes. It's a lot of people. Louis C.K., check out, it's a lot of brothers. And real talk, if we That's really want... That's not right. If you really want to keep it real, every single one of us are one tweet away from and losing your job. You. Thank or you. Or losing your position. Thank you. Because we've all said some wrong things. Yeah. All of us. Or laughed at some wrong things. Yeah. So but again, it is a teachable moment. Yes. I think moving forward, one, we have to think about the things we tweet, and two, we got to think about the way we think that makes us tweet the things that we tweet. Like, mm -hmm. And when we Check apologize, accept the apology. Yes. So sometimes we're not accepting people's apology. Yeah. And th it's not, th no, if a per it takes a lot for a person, especially a public person, on that type of platform to apologize. Believe it. And, you know, look at the actions. That's fine.
You know? Okay. That, oh. I hear you, sis. That one might be hard for me on this next topic, but but let's let's okay. look into this. Okay. Kevin Hart wasn't the only one who's had to do some apologizing lately. Author Mariah oh. Smith has issued a public apology for a controversial op-ed piece she wrote last week about the marriage of Priyanka Chopra mm -hmm. and Nick Jonas. The piece titled "Is Priyanka Chopra and Nick Jonas's Love for Real" was published on New York's magazine oh. The Cut and accused Priyanka of marrying Nick to further her career and advised Nick to leave her as soon as possible because she's a, quote, global scam artist. Let that sink in. That's some real words right there that you're using. Well, not only was the piece branded racist and sexist, it was also called out by Nick's brother Joe, his fiance Sophie Turner, who wildly, as wildly inappropriate and disgusting. In response, the cut removed the article and apologized, saying that upon further editorial review, the story did not meet their standards. Mariah, in her apology, said, I sincerely apologize to Priyanka, Nick, and to the readers. I offended and hurt with my words. I do not condone racism, xenophobia, or sexism. I take full responsibility for what I wrote, I was wrong. I am truly sorry. I applaud the cut. Me too. Uh, the cut, I applaud of course, the cut of course. for removing that this it. was wrong. Yes. I okay. But, uh, they put it up though, y'all. Yeah. I, okay. I mean, yeah, but but I mean, sometimes I see these bigger things, and sometimes they let things yes. slide. Yes. You know what I mean? Where yes. they one again another teachable moment. Don't just let anything go up on your website because it represents your thoughts and your opinions. You need to have somebody there, whether it's an editor. Somebody needs to be checking what they're putting up. But two, I do applaud them for the fact that, like, oh, this no. is not what we're saying. They're doing okay, only okay. because of the backlash, though. Yeah, that's, that's my that, thing. Yeah. You shouldn't have put that up in the first place. Yes. And I'm happy. I'm very happy that his family, you know, went out there and said, said this something. is unacceptable. Yep. Yeah. And I hope this is the catalyst for change because I believe as citizens, <laughs> we have the responsibility to be like, you know what, y'all need to stop this BS. Yeah. I'm over the wrong tagline yeah. Yeah. just to yes. get a click because you have to realize you are affecting people's money yep. and you're affecting their lifestyle their and their reputation. Yes. Your reputation is everything. That's why I yeah. look at Instagram accounts. If you've got more negative comments than positive comments on your Instagram account <laughs> or your blog, I'm not following you behind Boom. because you're a perpetrator for hate. And we shouldn't be doing that. Yes. We shouldn't. Yes. Sorry. I was no, more. you're so right Girl, because right. this is in so this true. In this day and age, sadly, no, it's true. this next generation coming up, they are looking at Instagrams <laughs> and blogs, and that's where they get their, their information. news and their information from. And guys, these people have no journalistic integrity. No. Where you actually have to check facts. They can write a headline tomorrow that is complete filth and lies. Mm -hmm. And you read it and yeah. you walk mm -hmm. away with a completely different impression of somebody that you've never met. met. Yes. I've and, and it's why, damaging. It's yeah. hurtful. And that's why I am the first, because I've made many mistakes, of course, and I am the first to listen to somebody's apology when they come out to own what they've done. Mm -hmm. But I'm sorry, Mariah Smith, I have trouble believing your apology because when you write an op-ed or an article, you have to believe what you're writing to have so much merit in there to put your opinion together. Yeah. And one of her statements she made was that Priyanka Chopra is only famous now because of Nick Jonas. Are what? you crazy? She's never that been in India. She's a global star. She's a global yeah. International star, a, a, a sixth of our world's population loves Priyanka yep. for the history, skill, and talent that she's put forth to become who she is today. And I, and, and so, I, therefore, not only do I have trouble believing her uh, apology, but also the cuts, because I do believe the cut has to be responsible of the reporters. There has to be several Jamals to read and, and approve an article before it puts out there. The cut is a reputable so source to me. I love it. It's an offshoot of New York Magazine. So mm -hmm. I just think at the end of the day, shame on that. Take a moment, step out for a second, because you're out the box. Like, that, you, that yeah. apology doesn't count to me. I will accept her apology um, because... People don't have to give apologies. They really okay. don't. I, so in that case, I will accept it. To, I'm more to disappointed. Job, maybe. Well, I'm more disappointed. I think she's a freelance, but okay. I'm more disappointed that this was a sister, a woman of color, yes. doing this to another woman of color. Yes. Okay, so y'all can't sit back and go, well, it was because if it was a white girl, ooh, we would have really had problems. Yes, yeah. and, and you know what I'm saying? No, yes, I'm just true. being truthful, we being real. 
So you got to understand, this, this cuts across everybody's line. Nobody, you know, maybe she was jealous of her. Maybe something happened. You're it's, touching you on know. something real right there. There is a girl-on-girl -girl hate that exists out there yep. where there are women that say, oh, she cranky, she must be on her period. Or in this case, a woman who who married an, another famous star is like, right. oh, mm -hmm. she's got to be scamming for something. She's trying yeah, to get she's something. She's a gold out. digger. Yep. So there so are what? women. Check yourself. Oh, my God. It's, I think I'm coming off of the book I read, well, Bad we gotta Feminist. We got to take a break on that, but go and tell them. Yo, check yourself. If you think you're a female <laughs> hater, which side are you on, man? Pick a side. Otherwise, don't speak at all. You're yep. four women or you're thin. <laughs>